Okay, this is gonna be a super quick tutorial and I'm just gonna give you a handy tip about how to make your image quality a bit sharper in After Effects. So as always, I've got my example image ready here and I'm just gonna do a quick search for an effect called Sharpen. I'm just gonna drag it onto my image. Okay, so what Sharpen does is it basically brings out a lot of dark values and it kind of creates this sort of outline feature on your image and I'll show you what I mean. So I'll put it up to a value of about 20. And so as you can see, it's definitely brought a lot of sharpness to the image here and it kind of creates the illusion that it's a bit more high definition. And of course, in video software, you can't really actually increase the video resolution once it's been filmed or uh, animated. So this is kind of just a superficial effect. So that's important to remember, but it can, in some circumstances, really increase the video quality. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go on this toggle here. So I'm gonna to toggle off the effect now. So this is what it looks like normally. And this is it with 20 sharpen on it. So as you can see, it does create a nice sharp feel to it. Okay, now this effect can uh, go wrong if you put too high values on. So I'm just gonna ramp up the value pretty high. And as you can see, it completely deteriorates the image here if you go to a high value. So it's very important for each individual composition to find uh, a very appropriate value for each of the images. So for this, I reckon around 20 would be good, any higher, and it starts to deteriorate the actual image here. So it's important to experiment with different sharpening values and see if you can increase the quality of your image. And so for example, if I had a character in the foreground of this composition, what I could do is apply sharpening to the character and then blur to the background, and it will draw even more focus to the character. So it can be a really effective tool in certain circumstances. All right, so that was just a super quick tutorial, but as always, I hope it helped. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this in the future, please subscribe. And also don't forget, if you wanna suggest a tutorial, feel free to leave a comment on one of my videos and I'll get back to you. Thanks.